Looks like the same model. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. You ever think about how many people have died in this world and how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. Another day, another dollar.
Find anything interesting? Another day, another dollar. It's our boy. He watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? Sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Evidence? Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phelps. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating the pigs. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You getting this? You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners, too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around. Work the name and see what they want. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. You don't look like a fireman, son. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you, but now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it.
LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Hey, I don't have all day. Hey, I don't have all day. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away to Catalina Island? 
Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? All the piece of paper. It looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Oh, I see you already have one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Fire. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Kelty has warned us off over Elysian. Makes sense. It's at that end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain Wilt. Let's go. We are not going. Yes, we are. You just won't let this go, will you, Cole? You know they're involved somehow. You expect me to turn my back on it? You're a big boy. I expect you to know which battles are worth throwing my pension away for. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police, lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. Ma'am. We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. 
Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Would you like a cigar? Drink, boys. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs! We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Can we speed this up a little? Can we speed this up a little? We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? <laughs> I hope that's all. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof.
Can we speed this up a little? Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? You've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. The arsonists, do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contract is I use for waybills. You suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it'd be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Glad to be of help, officer. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? 